name is Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida, number three in all the United States. All we sell are Class B RVs. As you can see here, we are the Class B experts. Our technicians, our salespeople, everything we do is centered around the van, the hashtag van life. We love it, I love it. But we are representing American Coach, which is also Midwest. This is a Patriot Cruiser. This is a brand spanking new 2024. We're gonna walk through the entire cruiser. This is like a really cool mix between an RV and like a limo or, or some kind of business executive thing that you'd see uh, I don't know, Shaquille O'Neal pull up in or Steph Curry. Actually, Steph Curry just ordered one of these from us. So this is a really top of line, very luxurious, very high end van that has a lot of elements of an RV, but then a lot of elements of a limo as well. So somewhere in the middle, we call it a cruiser. So this is what I love. This is why there's 10 seat belts. This is what I use when me and my family go out. We, we use one of these. It's an absolute top of line. Love everything about it. I'm gonna show you why I love it and why this is the most luxurious cruiser on the market right now. All right, so what people really love about this cruiser is that it doesn't look like an RV at all. It is a strictly a van. There's no awning, there's no air conditioner, there's nothing on it. This is very, very high end. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter. This is the 24 foot, the 170 extended. This one does have dual wheels, which gives you a really nice stability when you're driving. It's not bouncing and, and rocking and rolling all over the place. This truly is a comfortable ride because it is the Mercedes Sprinter on the 24 foot chassis. This is their newest, their latest and greatest Mercedes Sprinter. This does have the chrome wheels, American Coach. They offer these side view cameras. So there is a camera system all the way around the coach. So there's these little cameras on both sides. There's camera on the back and a camera on the front. So it's a four camera security system. So you can always see all the way around your coach when you're driving, while you're parked, while you're hanging out whatever it is. Something that I really love about the Sprinters are these active LED headlights. They are the high performance ones that kind of turn with you, they light up. This is the highest end headlights that are on any van in my opinion, but Mercedes makes these LED high performance headlights. So something really neat, if you show this front here, you can really see, I mean, they paint everything, they give you a nice spoiler, there's your camera there. I mean, this is a really high end looking van. So if this thing comes running down the road, a lot of people get it in black. That's more of like your executive stuff. I'm a fan of the white. It is a little more incognito, a little more, more stealth, being that it's white. So as we're walking around this side, there again, you see that it looks like a limo. It looks like a van. It looks like a, a, a very sleek, stealthy van. There's not much on it. There are a few things back here. And the reason is, is because there is a toilet inside of it and there's a sink inside of it. So there is a little dump station here. There is a 30 amp uh, hookup here. So this is all the hookups you're gonna have on the whole van. It's to a you know 18 inch section by six inches. This is all the hookups you're gonna have on this entire van because it does have fresh water. It does have black water tank and it does have a 30 amp service. So that way you can plug in and power everything in the coach if you want. So very simple. They do kind of hide it discreetly back here. Um, as we're walking through the back, this is a tow hitch. So this can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Um, you have your hookups there. This is a Mercedes tow hitch. So you can tow a trailer behind it. You can tow a car behind it. You can tow some motorcycles, some off-road things, whatever you want to tow. You can tow something small behind it. I like how Mercedes gives you these parking sensors as well. When it is in reverse, Mercedes kind of shows you what's around you by the parking sensors. There's two cameras up top. There's one for the security system and then there's the one that Mercedes puts on as well. So this is the back. Very impressive. It is hidden and when you get up front, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is the back here. A lot of people use this for storage if they're not gonna use the bathroom or the fridge or the sink or the microwave, but this is the back and I'll get up in there and I'll sit and show you everything later on in the video but i just want to show you this is really nice for loading things so if you're just driving it somewhere and you're not using this you can pile suitcases in here luggage all that or just use it for storage they do make a nice thing to cover the toilet so that way you can even pile things on top of the toilet and in front of it so that was a little sneak peek 
of the back area. Very neat. So even walking through here, as you see, there's no RV stuff. There's no awning, there's no plugs, there's nothing. So the whole goal is for this to be very stealth, for it to be very much when you pull up, people don't think you're in an RV, even though it has a lot of RV functions and a lot of the capabilities that RV has. Really the only thing that this does not have that a full blown RV has is a shower. Everything else, any other RV has, the American Coach Patriot has, is a shower. This Patriot Cruiser does not have a shower. So let's let's walk inside. Um, as we get inside, we notice the Mercedes has the power sliding door, which I love. I think that's a great feature. I like how when you walk in here, everything is really wide open. Okay, so now we are inside this cruiser and it is very wide open, very spacious. You notice there's not a kitchen in here. There's not a bathroom in here. All of that's in the back. So if you are just taking it to a concert, let's say, or to a sporting event, if you're tailgating, or the way I use something like this a lot is to my kids' sporting events, to where I pile the whole team in, or all my kids, which is about the size of a team. I got four kids, and so, you know, and they all have friends and boyfriends and girlfriends. We pile them all in, we go somewhere, and we can fill this thing up very, very easily. And you know, when I'm driving it, I feel like I'm driving a school bus because all the kids and all this stuff, but they absolutely love it absolutely love it you know a lot of times we sell these you know a big question that people ask is who's a typical person that buys something like this you know grandparents with a lot of grandkids that they like to see they like to take around people like me who do a lot of sporting events but also people who entertain their friends a lot and they you know want to use it for business they want to use it for entertainment they want to camp in it sometimes they want to go to concerts or art festivals or just road trips this is like this is taking the place of a conversion van from the 90s i mean those turtle top conversion vans this is the new turtle top conversion just ultra ultra luxurious so both of these seats swivel around so these are both heated. There's massaging features in them. So there are massagers. Uh, there's massagers, there's heated seats. There are, you know, they recline their power. You know, Mercedes gives you power seats up here. Same thing here, all these two recline, they swivel, they're heated, they're massaging all six of these. This is a D6 model because it has six captain seats and they all six are massaged, heated and swivel around. So up here, you have this is the this is the typical mercedes front end one thing that i do love about how american coach builds their vans is is they really take care of the front of the van as well so the the visors the pillars the roof here they 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 wrap it all with the same leather with the same everything that they use in there in the rest of the van so nice big 10 inch navigation screen this does have all of the cameras that you need as well so, you know, if you want to look at, at different cameras and different views, you can do that here. Oh, here we go, camera. So here's, here's one view of the camera, there's another view, and then here's a bigger view. So you can have a bird's eye view, you can see what's going on behind, um, the power door. They do give you a, if you want to come up here, they do give you a, a firefly. So there's three fireflies throughout this entire van. And here's one, there's one in the middle, and there's one all the way in the back. And this is how you control the lights, the internet, the inverter, there are tank heaters, water pump, and there's a separate stereo just for the back. So all of that can be controlled there or all the way through the coach. This is also push button start. You have your adaptive cruise control and the four camera security system I mentioned earlier, the monitor for that up here as well. So lots of very um, luxurious things that you are used to in your typical car, Mercedes is giving you in in this van so real easy to drive i have driven this not this one this is the same style that i have for my family but i've driven these on road trips up to north carolina to georgia to all over the place and very easy to drive very comfortable and anyone that rides with us is also very come well we took one of the kentucky derby last year and our friends loved it you know it was nice to kind of have a home base up at at the derby i'm a big uh, kentucky derby fan and this just made it that much better so as we're walking through here there are two more seats here that both these swivel as well they recline they have the same massaging and heated stuff that the other ones have but what's very cool is that three of these seats all have these tables these little desk things so there's one there there's one here and there's also one here 
So these, these little desk things are nice because you can eat on them, you can put a laptop on them, and you can use it for work. Other people can use it, so there's two there, and there's one here. So love how this is multifunctional. You know, we sold one of these to a realtor, a realty group here in town, and they use it for to take clients around and show them houses. They they use it for their family to go on family vacations, and, and they use it to work in it as well. They gotta go go you know do do different business trips. I mean, there's a lot of different uses for a van like this. So this is a. 32 inch smart TV. It is an Apple TV, so you can hook your phone up to it and you can do a presentation in here. If you have people, you're driving them somewhere, you can do some type of presentation. So what's great is this This truly is, could be a good bridge between like a big SUV and a RV. This is like, this cruiser can be in the middle to where you can use it for a lot of things, um, but not be fully committed to the van life. You know, there are some people that aren't fully committed. We're all in but there are some people that are not fully committed. Um, people always ask about safety, right? So all of these six seats have the three-point three seat belts. They also have, check these out, they have these hooks here for car seats. So that one and that one, they both have these anchors for car seats here. So you put your car seats there, you anchor them in. So if you do have young children, you can anchor them into these seats here and, and they'll be safe. Um, if not, it's pretty neat actually um, to sit in these seats with with these leg rests. So to sit here, if you want to come up here, I mean, very comfortable, right? So I can be working, I can be relaxing, I can be sleeping. I love all of the functionality. Also, I'm six foot tall, 234 pounds. I've lost a few pounds in the last month. I've been working really hard and. I fit perfectly fine in this thing. Very comfortable. I could definitely do a road trip in this. You know, I like having lots of windows when I want it and also privacy when I want it. So cup holders, lots of cool. Let me see how I lower this thing here. There it is. So this is all power. So this one and this one have the leg lifts, which is nice. Um, so you can control the music with your phone. So there's speakers all over this thing. So you can control the music with Bluetooth with your phone. There's also these fireflies throughout the whole coach. There, there's an internet router built in to the van. So you have Wi-Fi wherever you go. Um, American Coach Midwest Designs, they offer Starlink as well. So we can also get Starlink on a van like this, which is which is pretty impressive. So people ask, how is this powered? So this is powered. This does have lithium batteries. So the lithium batteries can power it when the engine's off. But typically this is used, the engine is on and it generates the power for this entire van. Um, there's a heavy duty alternator and, and everything is powered when the engine's on. So when you turn the engine off, the lithium batteries can power things. Um, there's a built-in inverter. So all of that kind of works together to give you power. So let's say you're going to a sporting event. Let's say you're tailgating, you'd probably leave your engine on. Let's say you didn't want to leave your engine on. You can turn it off and you can run everything for a few hours, but you'll need to turn the engine back on. So most of the time, everything in here is gonna be powered by the engine being on. Um, so we got drivers and passenger seats. They both swivel. We got the second row, these two seats here, they both swivel. They have power, or, or they have massagers, they got heated seats, they have the desk. These two seats, I do not believe they swivel. Um, actually, let me check while we're here. They do not swivel because they have the leg lifts. So these two seats do not swivel around. They do recline back and forth, as you can tell here. So, so they both can recline and be more comfortable there. They both have desks. But then as you walk back here, What's nice is there's two couches right here. So these two couches have, both have seat belts built into them. They have cup holders and I mean, they're a good size. So there again, I'm a big dude, right? And I can fit on this. Somebody else can fit there. If you got kids, you can put three kids on here. I have put three of my kids on one of these couches before. Um, very comfortable, no problem to ride long distance, no problem to do, to go wherever it is you wanna go. But then what's cool is underneath these, this is all storage. So there's storage here, there's storage under this. It's a little dark in there, but you gotta trust me, there is storage. Then if you want a bed, this is your bed. So you fold that down, you fold this down like this. 
And now you have a bed. So I am six foot tall and I kind of fit. I would fit better like this. Um, but, you know, if I had to sleep like this, I would sleep just like this and I'd be totally fine. So, you know, you can fit two people on here. If you need to, you can put kids back here. So this is a, a very awkward position for me to lay in a camera. I feel like I'm doing a modeling shoot right now. Nobody has ever asked me to model before. So that is not necessary. But and then when you're done with them, you just pull it up. Very easy to fold it back. And now you have two couches again. So lots of storage. Um, in the past, when I've used this for my own personal use, if I don't have people sitting back here, I use this floor as storage for luggage or whatever, the seats, and I just use the six chairs up front. Um, you know, you can even fold that out and use the whole top of it for storage. So very cool. You know, these a lot of times are, are owned by people who are using them for multiple purposes, like any class B van. Um, you know, we sell class B vans all over the country. You know, we ship for free anywhere in the United States, you know, we'll bring it right to your front door. We're shipping one up to Seattle, Washington this week. And this is the thing. There's a lot of RV dealerships <laughs> between Florida and Seattle, Washington, but the person found enough value in what we offer in our service and in our Sunshine State Elite Club and all that to purchase from us from Florida all the way up to Seattle. Also because we ship for free. So it just levels the playing ground. But when you're buying one of these, you know, it's real important to check out the dealership you're buying from. It's real important to check out the manufacturer that you're buying as well. Are there other p places that sell this stuff? Obviously, I don't think any of them are as good as us at service. Any of them are as good as us at inspecting it, making sure that you're getting something good. And then the whole time you own the coach, we have tech support. 24 7 we pick it up from you if you live within 100 miles of us bring it here and service it and then we have something nobody else has we have guaranteed service appointments within five days so you call us after you bought your van you have an issue guaranteed service appointment in five days so there's a lot of value to that but the tech supports big value also you know some people call and say hey i can't get my light to work or my ac to work our technician will get on the phone with you and he will walk you through steps on how to troubleshoot and how to get that fixed. So, I know that's not about this van, but that is about Sunshine State RVs. So pretty cool. This is something that I think is a little unnecessary, but there is a TV in the door. So I've had to where that TV's been playing one football game, this TV's been playing another football game, and we're driving down the road to go watch a football game. Went to Florida, Georgia last year. Did not end well for the, my Florida Gators, but on the way there, we were watching football games everywhere. So pretty cool to like tailgate out of this and have it for that reason so this is the bathroom so if you don't need a bathroom or you need storage this is great some people want to have a toilet in case of emergency um, and that's why this is here so let's walk this way now this is the bathroom I know I talked about it earlier um, it is something that some people say I don't need a bathroom I don't care about a bathroom and you know what everybody travels different so I totally understand that but what's nice is when you need it it's here and if you don't need it it's still here you can cover it up and use all this as storage it only takes up a very little bit of area but when you do need a bathroom we all know it's very nice to have one handy so there is a sink with hot and cold water there are 110 plugs back here there's a microwave we do have a fridge and freezer combo which is really nice um, all of this is powered like I said when the engines on or on the lithium battery um, this is your big inverter and there's other there's your apple tv and other things in here that you need to power the van um, there's storage up here there's a separate fan up here as well so really comfortable lots of space in here i mean they're getting six foot tall i'm a big dude and i fit perfectly fine back here um, but what's nice is that if you don't need it you don't need to use it it doesn't really take up that much space um, and if you do need it, it is clutch to have this bathroom back here. It's really easy to dump and really easy to use. And there again, at Sunshine Series, we, we teach you how to do all of this. Um, no matter where you come from, we'll do a virtual walkthrough. If we deliver it to your door, we do a virtual walkthrough. If you come pick it up, we do it here. But I think having this bathroom back here is huge. I think it's a great, great option to take up a couple feet of the back of the coach with the bathroom. Um, I do think that these cruisers 
are they they check a lot of boxes for a lot of people like i said i have four kids 19 years old 17 14 and 12. Um, putting all of them in a little van camper would be a little tough but putting them all in here they love it it's perfect so i'm a big fan of this cruiser i think if you saw this in person you would love it as well i know not everyone has a luxury of seeing one of these these are hard to get hard to find every time we get one we sell it within days every single time people just absolutely love them and i think that if you saw if you're looking for something like this if you don't need a shower but you want to move people and you still want to kind of get a taste of that van life i think this is a great option for you so check us out on our website sunshinestaterv's.com um there's this and we can order it in different colors and different floor plans and stuff but i think that if this is what you're looking for give us a call we would love to help you out free delivery anywhere in the country. So check it out, sunshinestaterv's.com. And thanks again for watching the video.